Hi everybody, it is my pleasure to be with you again today. In this tutorial, we are going to do something that reflects the happiest time of the year. Kids are excited, uh, thinking about the toys that what they're going to get this year. Moms are excited, planning the special lunch for the whole family. And then they start thinking about what they can cook, so they can make people happier than last year. So lights are twinkling everywhere in the city. And there is a guy riding his sleigh with a full of toys inside flying in the air between the clouds and looking down to the, all the houses covered with snow and uh, think about which chimney is the next drop for that particular toy. So that is the scenery of the cake. Today we are going to do it, create it together. I'm very happy to see the Christmas is here again, but only I wish it doesn't come so quickly because years are passing so rapidly, especially when you get a little older, it's a bit of a worry. So anyway, welcome back, the wonderful joy of Christmas. We follow objects to create three-dimensional cakes, and we also follow inspirations from the events, just like Christmas. It could be also kind of private events. So uh, create the scenery on the cake, telling us the story is the thing. So I thought if I take a simple common postcard, a picture, and add, take the inspiration from that picture, and uh, adding the Yenner's way couple of few special techniques that will be then used for uh, other than Christmas cakes in the future that will be appropriate idea so let me give you a short brief on the plan uh, what will be the headlines of the story the first chapter is a cake so the cake is a Christmas cake I will give you a very very special recipe you can also use that recipe for a Christmas pudding so the cake is covered with a fondant white fondant has a little bit of sort of length, landscape kind of indentations on it so it's not a really, really strong uh, squarish edge, uh, like a very geometrical shape. It's got a little bit of pushes around. And the uh, little town, a uh, compiling of little, little houses covered with snow. And there's one uh, a church in the middle. It will be very simply done. And then also in between the houses, uh, we have some little bit of sort of like a, a Christmas trees. Uh, we're going to use the same technique about uh, this cornflakes and, and royal icing mixture. You have seen it before, so I'm going to repeat again. And of course, when I place in those, those houses, I will just look at that like it looks like a street in between the houses. Then we have the second chapter. We will have a fluffy, beautiful, characteristic uh, clouds, but they are not too characteristic. They are still have a kind of like a sense of reality in there. So when it the, the whole thing is combined together, the city covered with the fluffy clouds, so you can see it from bird view. In between the clouds, you can see this. You can see this is a typical sort of Christmas looking uh, kind of scenery. And then, of course, the, our uh, Santa is coming out of the clouds, uh, riding on this golden sleigh, and then pulled by these six uh, reindeers. Of course, the uh, Rudolph leading the whole group. So, when we're talking about the clouds, and then the reindeer, and then the Santa on the sleigh, and everything in the air. Of course, we need to have kind of internal construction. So I think it's a good idea. I bring that deconstruction on the table now, explain you how I did it. 